really good versus the composition of NXP. Ah, NXP very artillery focused. As in, kahit yan si Bane, kahit yung Bane nila parang gusto lang din mag-deal ng damage tapos poprotectan sila ng Edith at saka nung Lolita. But, Wolf, I have a question for you now that we've wrapped up this draft. Remember the time wherein sobrang talamak ng Lolita? I'm, I'm guessing 2020. Ganon, early 2020. Mm -hmm. Ang sagot sa kanya, Lilia. Kasi napapasabugan siya, hindi gumagana yung shield. Yep. Is this a clear interaction? Okay lang ba ang Onyx dito? Kakayanin pa nila yung Lolita? Um, yes, uh, Yes, and I think that they're not really that concerned about it. Uh, I think uh, yung talaga naka-counter lang naman kasi talaga ng Lolita is this Clint. And if you think about it, um, wala silang pang-cancel doon sa Nominant Blast na straight up. So maybe doon na sila magiging concerned about this. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're asking me, are they okay na may presence na Lolita? Yeah, surely. Kasi meron naman din silang clue. If ever, meron silang way para ma-visionan agad kung lasa si Lolita and maybe um, stop Lolita from uh, casting the ultimate or at least they're finding a good position for the ultimate. Okay, okay. Looking forward to it. Uh, again, both teams slowly gumaganda yung identity ng draft nila and it took four games. We're in game four now. In the league next week, was two to one. Also, we're learning about Sicilian. Next to Evos, mo ang spam Sicilian sila dito. And so far, I'm not even facing Ever Farsa. Parang <laughs> ang lupet ni Sicilian ngayon sa meta game. It's because yung battle mages dati natin si Farsa and Eve. Kapag nagkulit sila, wala na finish na. Diba? It's either you mm -hmm. win or you wait, you back out. Ito si Sicilian. Basta meron kang bat impact or yung sanguine clause. Okay, ti. Mm -hmm. Yung ult mo parang extra na lang siya, yep. di ba? Atas guwagalaw galaw apa. Right. You're very mobile, so yeah. I understand the, the priority they have on Sicilian. Ah, uh, uh, me too. I honestly feel maganda pa rin yung uh, um, Sicilian sa game na to. Looking at the composition of Onyx Philippines, parang uh, walang pang punish dun sa Sicilian, at least. By punish, I mean yung aabot dun sa late game kung saan makakotest siya. Pero kasi, itong Sicilian, ang gagawin na niya talaga mag-farm until such point na sobrang lasa na burst na niya as we saw in the previous game. And here's something new, Wolf. Si Hatred na ngayon ang naging full-on roamer. I was expecting actually Oh My Baloyski. Pero si Greed ngayon ang nakalilya. Okay. Ha, ah, that's very interesting. Ang last time nakita ko ng Rafaela, si Hatred was the last game of the M3 World Championship. And uh, it, it just don't it just doesn't uh, translate well to me. Kasi parang hmm. malikit si Hatred. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Ang daming ang daming mechanical nuance <laughs> ng batang to. 'Di ba? Sobrang galing ni Jailor sa totoo lang sa mga microphone. But when you give him a hero like Rafaela, para ano lang siguro yan? The early days of Chuck no Rafaela. Kailangan niya lang, kailangan natin masanay. Yeah. Siguro nga talaga ganun. Nakikita natin na si Chuck no na Rafaela, I mean yung Rafaela, tapos may tag na Chuck no parang, wait a minute. Saan na talo? Saan ang uh, man knock up dito? But at least nakatama pa rin siya ng uh, baptism. So, still needs a yeah. lot. Oh! Did you see that? The H2 donut connection Nakita mo, nag-flicker yun si Marky. Munti kaya nang mapatay si H2, pero na-stun ni Donut. Na-save niya yung jungler niya. Still no kills here. 1 minute 30 seconds in. About 300-400 gold dito ang Oryx Philippines. At nansusuplex si Ureshi dito sa top lane. This is odd. Uh, nananalo yung uh, edit sa glue. Uh, and I'm guessing that's because of the passive blast as well. First blood off camera, papahirapan naman ng Oryx dito. CH2 sa pagkuha ng Orin Bank. start para sa um, Onyx Philippines, pero yung top lane, yun nga lang, yun ay panada. Uh, Dilar have pret has petrified now. So, hindi siya yung team mga or yung execute na inaabangan ko. Still wishing na uh, makakita tayo ng execute glue. Execute glue. Pero this time, it's just the uh, 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 petrified. Meta lang dito, eh, si Flick ay nakagawa, ng nakakachempo sa ating laban. And he's actually a level ahead. Kaso, wala siya. Maraming retreat siya, actually. Pero hindi niya tempted to not go for it. And instead, yep. H2 will be able to secure that. Yep. Give respect. Uh, Flick is respecting H2. Uh, still one of the most talented junglers in the game right now. And on point siya, Rometri. Again, we've known him to steal certain objectives that he has no business doing. So, uh, so I, I get, get ko yung ginagawa ni Flick dito. But still, again, 
Next play Evos, they're behind, maybe 500 gold. So, okay na. Kaya rin hindi nagpipilit si Flick na mag-steal. Sobrang standard na ba nangyayari natin, natin ngayon? Yep. Imagine po nung no, game 1, game 2, we we're saying na bakbakan, tapos yung game 3 was super duper odd. Ito, sobrang standard eh. But Onyx Philippines, despite them losing uh, one hero dun sa may top lane, namang pa rin sila sa gold. This is because nakakalamang sa wave tier itong kanilang mid lane duo. At the same time, maganda rin ang start para kay Super Marky. And also, napikilan nila kahit pa paano itong pain. And this is a good sign para sa Onyx Philippines kasi typically ang Bane talaga ay snowball type. Dapat na uh, siya yung uh, mas mabilis mag-clear ng jungle, siya yung mas naka-rotate ng, mas, mas fa ng much faster, gets uh, the third level as well. They forced out the Black Shoes from Greed and ngayon papaulanan si Donut ng damage dito. Part of my memory! Ang sagot na Denza gonna go down. Hates it popped here by Hayes. Greed boy pa. Sanguine Claws gonna keep him alive. H2 looking for the crab. Claw Cannon! Oh, hindi pa mapapatay Ooh. dito. Si Baloyski gonna live. Gonna run away with it. One for one trade. Ang nag-game trade ay Rome for Rome. So, so sobrang, sobrang action nung nangyari. Pero Rome for Rome trade. But a real trade is map. Na, na naligalawa dito ng Onyx Philippines. If you'll notice, nakakuha doon si uh, Flick ng purple buff. So we're gonna see it once again. I wonder kung paano nakuha ni Hayden. Okay, naabot pala siya din nung... Uh, what was that? Oh, okay. Uh, tinaman din, ah, tinaman pa rin siya nung isa nung uh, first kill. But then again, ito si Super Marky was able to run away from turtle. that deadly catch. That's great. And ngayon, H2 is put in a spot kung saan na trailing behind na siya. And maganda yata yung rap around dito ng Onyx Philippines. Pero handa oh. ang NXP Evos. They're clumped up together. Yeah. Uh, it's a game of I know you know. Parang may sagot ako <laughs> kung aamba ka. And so far, you're right, Wolf. H2 not having the best game as the Bane, but you can imagine worse. Diba? Imagine mo na maamatay matay ka. So now, naiintindi ni H2 na hindi ko pa oras. Hindi ito yung window off. Yep. Patience is key. Yun naman ang super agree ako. Kasi parang, as long as hindi naman din talaga napupugo dito si H2, they're fine. Yun nga lang, ang Onyx Philippines mapag-push dito sa may bottom lane. The typical aggressiveness na ma-expect natin in the destroyed. early stages mula sa Onyx Philippines. Very methodical. Very trade-wise, tumbaga, uh, parang eh, ano sila, mga ekonomista sila dito, mga traders yep. sila ng crypto dito na alam kung mo ginagawa nila. <laughs> Oo, oh, kaya nga may tinatawag tayong marky business eh, di ba? At ah, meron yeah, kahit tinatawag right. na marky basag kapasyo na ginawa niya doon. First tier, turret down bottom and wait lang, sasakyan si Ureshi. May split grab grab turning into the ult and mama mapalish pa nga si Bilar! And down he goes! Boy, pa si Ureshi survive that whole debacle! Hero has been slain. Oh, oh can kill though, Brody. Yeah, uh, sobrang ahead ni Marky dito. We've seen it before. Sobrang ahead ni Marky yung game number three, but they still managed to um, uh, get back with Donut just farming. At Brody din yung uh, hero na yun. Uh, top lane, sobrang clear sa OY. That was a very big indecision and very, I'd say, mis- Uncharacteristic na Dilarski. Usually, when uh, you're seeing Dilarski, calculated to, alam niya kung kailan sa mga dive, whatsoever. He knows when he's gonna stay alive, but he stayed under the turret, dun sa may top lane, dahil doon ay napunish pa nga sila. Uh, then again, not too bad para sa side ng Onyx Philippines, nakakuha pa sila pa rin sila ng mga big objectives. At nagamit na yung deadly catch sa may mid lane, so, uh, at this point, green, green light na to para mag-turtle yata ang Onyx Philippines. Yep. So, Sobrang gin alam ni H2 na hindi sila offensive ngayon, defensive sila. So they cannot afford to lose that mid lane turret, just like they did in the last game, game number 3. Yun din ang naging priority Red nila. Black Shoes already used up. Second turtle, uh, third turtle, if I'm not mistaken, of the game going over to Onyx Philippines right now. Again, flick on point, timers on point. We are primed for uh, about 9 minute Lord, if I'm not mistaken, just under 9 minutes. Lalabas na itong Lord na ito. At I'm not, I don't know the lead of Onyx here, huh? almost uh, 3k, I'm not mistaken, 7 minutes in. Yep. Oh, I'm not proud of that, I'm not proud of that, this is bad for an XP. Yep, but there's a deadly catch si on H2 as he was trying to secure his purple. He's still ult, rin, si Ureshi, so I think the call of uh, the team here, the call of Hayes is, okay, you can ult or you can ult, kayo. we just need to get up. And... Ang naging uh, resulta nun para sa side ng uh, Onyx Philippines ay more space. Alam nila walang deadly catch. 
Wala nila nag-back din si Cadenza kasi super low siya. And they are able to push top lane. Yep, oh no, split, split, grab, grab, onto Donut, and there's the stun, looking for the punish, and there's the finish, kulang pa, ang turn apart memory, ang daming na gastos ang next play, para lang mapatay si Dilar. Oh, ginamit din yung flicker doon, so that means Sonic Philippines just trading once again. Ito na yung, ano eh, ito na yung prime time, Onic Philippines, the banana split that we're talking about, kung hindi manalo ng clashes, win it by nap. Yep. Oh, the floor is going to be the hangin. Ni kante ani Orechi. Pero mato trade out sa dito. That was a nice setup. Pero kung yung damage output ng next week was done. Moments of brilliance. Pero ahit talaga ng Ori Philippines. You can't deny that fact. Now see the burst down and nakakuha na push yung Ori Philippines sa may mid lane. NXP now training behind. May kita pa rin natin na may chance sa pang NXP Evos dito if they land all of their shots. That's what I always say kapag nakita ko ng Lolita. Specifically, meron kasi silang chain stun tapos AOE pa. Sanguine Claws, pati yung knock-ups ni uh, Edith. All of them are AOE based. Tapos ipapanggain mo pa ng damage ni Cecilion pati nitong Deadly Catch. There's a lot of potential for counter phase mula sa NXP Evos. But on the Philippines, like I said, they win by map. Hindi sila it's a straight up uh, head on collision against NXP Evos. In fact, lamang nga nakil sa NXP Evos. Pero yung Onyx Philippines, lamang na lamang sa mapa. Yep. It's a matter of strategic trades. Lahat ng binibigyan ng Onyx, it converts into something else. And now it's grown to 6k gold lead plus a lord marching down bottom lane, I'm guessing, or top. It's 50-50 here. Kung saan man yun, imamanage na lang ng... Only Philippines yung waves nila, hindi pa rin ready. Sumabak ang NXP Evos. Bottom lane nga ang magiging uh, entrada ni Lord. Sa so, sobrang uh, parang uh, dumaloy na ang dugo ng split pushing. Dito kay Flick, 0, 0, and 0 siya. Nothing but the map para dito kay Flick. Yep, green though. Pumapasok, black shoes already used up. Cadenza, sobrang baba ng buhay. That's the tank on the side of next play. Evo's not ready for an engagement. Who you put Recall heal, walk into the base, and all lanes are getting pushed in. Pero maganda. Na depends on the next play, ang wave sa taas. Bottom lane, pahanga mabutas na. Let's see if they're gonna allow it. And there's a deadly catch with the defense. That's still greed alive. Black Shoes still waiting. It's on cooldown now. Pero mapapatay nila si Lord. And kapayo pa rin. Itong toring ito. Inhibitor still standing. Oh, but there's a wave. Finally, super fight. Sabi niya, basag na. I'm actually surprised. I'm going to put this in a flash. What's up? The very explosive Mala Michael Bay ng movie dito sa my bottom lane. Binatoshation coming out from Dilarski from the back lines with the Lord. Tapos may paputok afterwards. And it kind of feels oh, yeah. like Onyx Philippines are playing their game. Ito yung uh, nagpasikat sa kanila ng MPL Season 8. So far, acclimated dito ang kanila new rookie. Flick, zero kills, zero deaths, zero assists. Pero sobrang taas ng farm. Yup, zero hesitation. Alam na yung rotations niya. And alam niya kung saan niya kailangan pumunta para ma-pressure ang next play Evos. If you're next play Evos, What's the game plan? We've been seeing them play defensive for the past 10 minutes, Wolf. Anong gagawin nila dito? Anong hinahanap pa nila? Uh, T-Spoggy lang talaga. Leo, I think that's the only thing that they can do. Try to make the plays para makalabas sila sa kanilang base. But, if all else fails, they just defend. In group of their heroes, ako bang ganda na kanilang defensa? Talaga kang head lang yung Onyx Philippines kaya nakapag-push sila dun sa bottom lane. The next target, don't give this 12-minute uh, Lord. Kasi may talon na yun. And, Although it will push the boy bottom lane, so hindi siguro ganon ka detrimental para sa NXP Evos na magawin lord nyan. Still, it will keep their game longer. Mabot sa point na dalakas na si Yeri Hazelnut with the Sicilian and Donut, pagamakwa nasa na matipon ng nature as well as the little despair para pagkapatch nasa. And maybe if mas red ng NXP, yung Onyx Philippines just like that, meron kayong nga killing, meron kayong pang execute, bagay. Oh, I appreciate the effort, pero conceal play 
sa wala, they did force the black shoes. And I think it's a matter of next play, playing the mental din eh. Parang, hindi, sige, conceal play kami, gumamit ka ng resources para hindi ganun kadalik yung Luminous Lord. Which is again, you mentioned, hindi ganun kasakit. Pero, masakit pa din. It's, 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 it's like it's free, but it's not. Tignan natin yeah. kung uh, anong uh, i-discarte ng Oryx dito. So, hindi ganun ka siya view lanes ng Onyx Philippines at malayo din si Dilarski. So, this is a 4v5. But, ang bilis ng Lord Take pala ng Onyx Philippines! Oh, wow! The Lord. What? Super Marky! <laughs> no brakes on this Super train! Dinire-direto niya! Okay. Oh, pero ang ganda ng wave lane yung H2. Nakapush nila. Tier 1 sa back. Turret has been destroyed! Yep. Uh, they have... They were able to uh, at least trade an influx of gold yan. Waiting pa talaga sa items ang NXP. And ang tunay na prescription dito pag ganito na yung nangyayari is to stay behind your base and just to wave clear. But we'll see Kadenza wants to make a play. Kaso na-check agad dito ni Dilar. Kita yung dalawa dito. And on mm -hmm. Philippines, hindi sila mapapunish whatsoever oh. outside of the base. There's a Sanguine Claws forcing the Black Shoes. So may isang ult na nagamit si Greed. Torn apart memory naman para sa side ng next play Evos and here comes the Lord. They have to use their skills very smart. They have to be good about this. And there is a deadly catch. Turn apart memory. Kulang na stack na nalagay. Pop! Beat and bottom deliverers have gone down. Sanguine Claws up. And this is going to be the split split. There's a knock up. There's the Numenon Blast. Papagsakang isa. Hatred goes down. It is going to be Maki taking down Oreshi. Boy pa. Ang dalawa. Pero hindi na sa pato para dumipensa. Ladies and gentlemen, Onyx Philippines. Even the score. We're going to game number five. Dito, when we were opening the draft, you were asking ano yung dapat gawin ng Onyx Philippines to at least force a game number five. We're talking about kaano ba tayo ng craziness, kaano ba tayo ng kung anong uh, cheeky plays. But the answer is straight up, go back to the basics. Go back to what uh, gave Onyx magic, di ba? The split push, it was so real. Even in the last moment, nakita natin, Leo, na yung bottom lane, binabaga ng side ng Onyx Philippines. Four of them members ina-assist yung Lord. Parang ina-assure nila si Lord. But nandun sa top lane, quietly flick. Nakuha yung push sa may top lane, dun sa may mid lane. And already, nag-build up siya ng sobrang uh, kapal na army ng minions na hindi na siya nasagot ng NXP Evos. And eventually, isang battering ram ang inilabas ng Onyx Philippines when they tried to secure for that. It all started before that clash. 0-0 and 0 si Flick. But they ended up with a 6-6 scoreline. Sobrang systematic ng game na to. Yeah. Wolf, you said it's Onyx magic. Bago pa naging it's Onyx time. And look at this uh, scoreline. You mentioned it's 6-6. Napaka-conservative. Hindi nila kailangan pumatay ng hindi kailangan. They just did what they needed to do. And they know how to do it in short order. 14 minutes, 19 seconds. So talagang may time pa tayo para mag-game 5. Ika nga.